The next in this series of videos for simulation success is focused on the data collection clipboard. The clipboard is built to easily allow you to input your data, but just as with anything in life, seeing and practicing how to use it will pay great dividends in your training and testing. Each data collection page will have several fields. Sometimes the fields will involve you entering text, dropping down a tab, or clicking all that apply. When entering text, you just need to type in the numbers that apply. You do not need to type any commas. In this example, in Training Mode 1, Scenario 1, the square feed is 1,148. I will type this in as 1148 and then press Enter. As you fill in each field of the clipboard page in Training Mode, you will receive audible and visual feedback. The field behind the correct answers will turn green, and the field behind incorrect answers will turn red. I want to point out a very important difference between Training Mode and the Challenge and Test Mode. In training, as soon as you input a number and press enter, you'll be given that instant feedback. On test day, you'll be able to change your answers up until you do your final submittal. So no need to worry that a mistype might cost you a point on the test. Also, it is very important to remember that not every field is applicable to every house. If a page or field is not applicable, leave the page field blank or use NA for your answer. If you are expected to gather data about an item, such as the R value of continuous insulation for an existing wall, and there is no continuous insulation, the correct R value would be zero rather than NA. The data collection page may contain notes in green. These notes are important support tips and include specific information needed for data collection, so be sure to read them. The more you practice in the training modes, you'll become very familiar with each specific tip and you'll be ready for them come test day. Another tip to remember, you can close the clipboard by clicking the clipboard icon. This is particularly helpful for using the sim on smaller screens as it opens up a larger viewing area to interact with the simulation. You can then open it again by clicking the clipboard icon. Remember that all the answers are discoverable in the house. Sometimes you just need to make a visual inspection, other time make calculations, and of course sometimes tools are needed. The step-by-step -step guide provides a further great resource to understand how to fully answer the training mode, scenario mode 1. Using the step-by-step -step guide and answering the questions yourself is the best way to truly understand how to input the data. Good luck!